Tenure note yields move lower midweek, today getting below 430 for the first time since April 5th. And if you go back to May 29th, yields have been steadily moving lower since then, culminating in a move now seen as more than 30 basis points lower from that May 29th high. Now, much of that has come on mixed economic data that we've seen, as well as shifting rate cut odds, which are now leaning towards the first rate cut here into September FOMC. We're seeing about 80% odds of that happening today. Of course, a lot can change between now and September. But of course, 10-year uh, note yields are reflecting that, again, closing down below 430 today, uh, down about four basis points on the session. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. And despite the fact that volatility or yields have been moving lower over the last week or so, we've seen volatility moving higher. In fact, as, since we put in the, the uh, multi-year lows about two weeks ago, volatility has been steadily moving higher and it moved higher again today. Lastly, let's talk about what we have tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, which means we get a, yet another look at the job market via the claims number. We also get the challenger job cuts number. And as well, we get an ECB meeting and they are expected to cut rates tomorrow following today's Bank of Canada meeting where they did cut 25 basis points. So we're seeing other central banks now starting to cut rates. The Fed obviously markets pricing in for a September, possible September rate cut still a ways away. But again, like I said, a lot can change between then and now. And then the market is always forward-looking, taking, uh, keeping an eye out for Friday's non-farm payroll number.